Forest, Manchester United 3, Nottingham Forest 2, Manchester United making a comeback, a dramatic comeback against Nottingham Forest. Yes, we eventually burnt down that forest and took it all out, clean it out after they were hitting us with branches for the first four minutes. We couldn't see for a hot second and then the second half things changed. But hear me out, guys. As lovely as this comeback was, and, and again, I say this again, it brings a lot of joy to Manchester United to come back because this is like... It brings you back to the, this is what Manchester United, this is the Manchester United way. But don't do that again. Don't do that again, especially four minutes into the game, Manchester United, because you took me out, making me doubt, made a lot of fans doubt as well. But hey, 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 guess what? We were being laughed at, but we end up having the last laugh. We're, t we're telling the ops that, bro, you laughed at me? You were laughing at me earlier on? You're not laughing now, are you? Because we came back to win three goals to two. And if we do that again next week against Arsenal, we are definitely losing against Arsenal because we cannot start a game like that. And as well, the performance, in my opinion, in the first 45 minutes and the second half as well, I'm not too convinced. Um, the players are just not able to break teams up, open them up. I don't know if it's the players, or the, the individuals, I mean, but I just can't see us doing it. We're not, we're not clinical enough. We're just not opening the teams. We're not feeding the ball to a striker for a striker to, to score. And this is very concerning, guys. But let me get straight into the match. Let me get straight into the first 45 minutes, my overall thoughts. Because the first 45 minutes, guys, um, we conceded two goals within four minutes. A goal coming from um, Ioni, that guy. I cannot pronounce his name right. I keep getting it wrong. But I, I will knee scoring that first goal. You know what? And that was so unfortunate. It came from our own set piece, from our own corner, you know. A counter-attack. A devastating counter-attack. And a bad, 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 bad mistake by one of our players as well. And Rashford just couldn't get there. But I will knee charging down. One-on-one -on -one with Onana. It was always going to be a goal. Nottingham Forest was leading 1-0. And then in the space of another two minutes, I was like, what the fuck's going on today? Like, what, what's going on? We've just conceded a second goal. Yes, that second goal coming from uh, um, Wooly Bully, a nice set piece from Amog Gibson White, whatever his name is, crossing it in. And Manchester United is a concern because we cannot defend our set pieces. We've been conceding goals from set pieces, which I kind of reckon, I, I reckon, and I, I mean... D d I acknowledge and I now realize we're not doing well when it comes to defensive set pieces. But Willie Bolly making it 2-0 for Nottingham Forest. From there, it was massacre. It was raining at one point and I felt that it was the tears of the Manchester United fans coming down, dropping down on the pitch because we was emotional, guys. We were so emotional. And then 2-1, thank God, Rashford, Low driven cross straight down to Ericsson to make it 2 1 in the first 45 minutes. Like I said before, I was not happy with what I was seeing. Manchester United unable to open their, t their opposition up and not feeding the ball enough to, to the strikers at all. They were just not making the right moves. But hey, Ericsson makes it 2 1 half time. We're thinking, you know what? We can come back now. We can definitely come back as long as we don't flop. I don't know what Ten Hag told these men, but these men went out the second half, soon away, straight away in the first early minutes. Manchester United are making it 2 2 against Nottingham Forest, Casemiro, and Bruno Fernandes as well. From a set piece, keeping them passing the ball, trying to put the ball back in across with Bruno Fernandes, able to head the ball down to the path of Casemiro. Casemiro, after sorting himself out, being able to finish that goal in. And it was 2 2. And we was like, yep. Yeah, I believe the charge now, the comeback is almost complete. And then you see Nottingham Forest, a man down. I think it was Warren or Warrenson, whatever it is. Their captain himself let them down. Um, um, holding Bruno Fernandes towards a goal-scoring opportunity. And the referee sent him off, rightly so. And then the man himself, Bruno Fernandes. Marcus Rashford getting clipped. I said it, it was penalty. Yes, Marcus Rashford getting clipped. Bruno Fernandes stepping up, and we only knew where it was going to go. Yes, Bruno Fernandes, the stat pad merchant, aka Bruno Fernandes, he's the one that made a comeback 3 2. Manchester United have won the game in the second half. And in that second half, a, lot, a change was made for Rand coming off. 
bringing on Lindelof. I don't know whether it was because of injury due to injuries, but I hope not. But making that change changed a lot of things. I don't know what Ten Hag said in the second half, but second half he was really on it. But then towards the last 11 minutes, we looked like the team that was a man down. We struggled to play against Nottingham Forest when they had 10 men. As after the penalty, we went straight into defensive mode and straight back into our shield, cave in, and then ended up winning the game three games to two. I'm happy about the results, but the performance, guys, I am not happy about that performance. You know, we can't go there at Arsenal's ground and play like that. We'll end up getting trashed. Even though Arsenal drew today, still, Arsenal are a dangerous team and they're fluid with their football. We are not. We're still trying to figure ourselves out. <sighs> Player-wise today, I thought Mark Rashford wasn't at his best. He was completely trash, in, to be honest with you, in all aspects of this game today. Apart from the assists, he was trash. Bruno Fernandes, apart from the assists and the goals, he was also trash, guys. Like, let's not hide ourselves. Let's not lie as well. Let's not hide behind the bush and try and protect Bruno as much as we can cause just because he scored a goal and an assist. His overall performance was trash. And that's the reason why the team struggled as well, to get more goals. Casemiro with the equaliser, but overall, he didn't have the best, his best game. But he was there when we needed him. Martial, I know he's just come back from injury. But yeah, we see why. You know, Marshall's got a lot to get back into his match rhythm because he wasn't involved today's game, you know. I know he was holding the ball up a bit, but yeah. My man in the match today, of course, Mr. Aaron Wan-Bissaka, he done so well so well today, going up, supporting the attack. You know what, he's he's, he's improved in his way on, on the ball as well and his interplay as well has dramatically improved under Eric Ten Hag. He's one player that I think, yeah, Ten Hag did, did a, a thing on him. Don't give the match today. Has to go to, to be fair, I, I can't tell you, man. Um, the Glazers, as always, we're not signing anyone yet. You know, we're in the position where we have to sell to sign. Anyway, guys, this has been your match reaction. You please let me know who your man of the match is in the comments, or your donkey of the match in the comments, and your thoughts on today's game. And of course, remember to tune in on Monday at 8 p.m. too, so we can do the full reaction with the guys. As always, as like I said before, remember to keep it united and remember to keep it red, red united. Peace.